Hello. Korean movie recapped here. Warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a Korean romance movie released in 2018, called, On Your Wedding Day. A high school student develops a crush on a new transfer student but is soon separated from her until he gets to meet her again years later. Will destiny do its thing to make them live happily ever after? Back in June 2005, Woo Yun was a bad guy in his school, often getting scolded by the teacher for fighting with other students. That's when he met Sung Hee, a new transfer student. He approached her and said that he was also a transfer student, so he could give her some advice to fit into the new school. The guys in the school are interested in Sung Hee because of her appearance, but she didn't give a single damn about it. As a fellow transfer student, Sung Hee asked Woo Yun for a quickie. Whoa! Chill out girl, the story just started. His heart rate went up as he sweated. A cutie just invited him for a quickie. Without thinking far, Wu Yun agreed. Sung Hee brought him to a spicy rice cake place after they succeeded in sneaking out of school. They went to a convenience store in the evening, and Wu Yun bought a pack of condoms. He didn't tell her what he had just bought. He nervously asked her about her first quickie, and she casually answered that she did her first quickie in her eighth grade. He laughed, saying that she's a naughty girl because usually, people don't do that kind of thing that young. Sung Hee got confused at first, but she found out what he had been thinking after seeing a pack of condoms in his hand. It turns out the slang quickie that she used refers to skipping class, meaning that she invited him to skip class, not to do, you know, something else. She slapped him right in the face and laughed out loud because of his foolishness. Later, they skipped class again because Sung Hee wanted to avoid the school thug confessing his crush to her. Wu Yun told her that it would benefit her if she told the whole school that she was dating him. She agreed in return that he would stop fighting other kids. The thug gang passed by, and Sung Hee told them that she was dating Wu Yun. It made the thug stop hitting on her but started bullying Wu Yun. The thug started fighting him, but he wouldn't fight back because of his promise. It warmed her heart that he proved to her that he was willing to stop his bad habit for her. On the other day, when they skipped class together, the homeroom teacher caught them in action, and they fled. That's the first time that the butterflies filled up their stomach. When Wu Yun was walking her home a few days later, she saw a truck passing by and started hiding. It scared her so much that she wouldn't eat and got emotional for days. To lighten up her mood, Wu Yun hijacked the radio room and sang Sung Hee's favorite song to be aired to the whole school. It got him in trouble, but he didn't care if it made her happy. He then gave her an MP3 player to play the song whenever she needed to. She drew a couple kissing on his palm in return as he awkwardly kissed her by the sea. She didn't attend school the next day, so he went to her house and found that her dad was drunk and destroying everything. Sung Hee was shocked when she saw him and told him to go away. She didn't attend school the following days. Suddenly, Wu Yun got a call from her. She said to him that she was going to move out because her dad had found her and her mom. She had been running away from her alcoholic dad. That's why she had constantly been moving from one place to another. She bid him goodbye in tears without telling him where she would go. A few years pass by, and he has graduated from high school. He is now selling fried chicken because he never wanted to attend university. One day, his friend brings him a Hankook University magazine, and guess what? He sees Sung Hee on the magazine cover, meaning that she's now attending one of the best universities in Korea. It's a cue for him to start studying to go to the same university. However, his parents laugh at him because they don't believe he has the brain to do it, but the thought of meeting her again motivates him. He finally passes the test and tries everything to find her. Being the brainer that he is, he goes to a nearby spicy rice cake bar to see her, and there she is. Sung Hee studying fashion to become a designer. As soon as he moves into the same place as hers, she tells him that she has a boyfriend. It makes him feel foolish not to have thought about that probability. Her boyfriend is a football team captain, so Wu Yun decides to join football. Wu Yun asks her why she loves him. She says that it only took her three seconds to fall for him. She fell in love at first sight, and he knows that he's already lost for that. Later, he remembers that it's her birthday today, so he buys flowers and plans to give them to her to win her back. 
Unfortunately, he sees Sung Hee and her boyfriend in a car as he gives her a necklace. Wu Yun flees after breaking the car's window. At the library, Wu Yun hears Sung Hee's boyfriend that he promises another girl to bring her to Europe. Apparently, he also promises Sung Hee the same thing if the football team wins a match. Knowing that Wu Yun hesitates at first to help the team win, but looking at how desperate Sung Hee is to the Europe trip, he succeeds in carrying his team to victory. Before Wu Yun's military service, Sung Hee breaks up with her boyfriend and sees Wu Yun off to the military camp. They spend the night together. But it's not like what you think it is. The drunk Wu Yun dozed off in the toilet when it was freezing outside. He poops everywhere, and Sung Hee must clean up the mess he made. To save his face, she leaves early in the morning. He's too embarrassed for that and never reaches her out after. A few years pass by, Sung Hee and Wu Yun separate. Wu Yun is dating a girl, and she's wealthy. He's now working as a personal trainer at a gym. He sees Sung Hee crossing the street and follows her. She's doing modeling as her part-time job and is single by that time. He offers her to be her chauffeur for her modeling job. The modeling job pays quite too well, making Sung Hee almost give up being a designer, but Wu Yun reminds her about her dream. One day, on the way to the shooting site, she gets a call from her producer that her scene will be cut, so she doesn't have to go. To cheer her up, Wu Yun invites her to go to a nearby hidden spot to make her day. They are caught off guard at the moment, but Sung Hee stops him from kissing her because she remembers that he has a girlfriend. Wu Yun says that he still likes her. He asks her the same thing and plans to break up with his girlfriend if Sung Hee still likes him. Sung Hee feels guilty, so she tells him that she's not going to see him anymore. Wu Yun goes to her shooting site to meet her, saying that he only wants her. She feels confused, so she wants to let go. As she walks away, a board is about to fall onto her, but Wu Yun saves her. They get back together at the hospital. The injury makes him fail his performance test exam. Another few years pass by. They are living together now. Wu Yun is still jobless, while Sung Hee is currently a designer. They live happily like a new couple, they are enjoying every second of it. Being jobless as he is, Wu Yun is kind of frustrated because he couldn't make more money. His friends bring up about marriage, but Wu Yun is worried that he couldn't make enough money to marry Sung Hee, so he gets defensive and ruins everyone's mood. Sung Hee feels guilty because the accident injured his back, so he's not qualified to be a physical exercise teacher, which has been holding him back from getting a proper job. A few days later, Sung Hee tells him that the company is going to send her to Belgium. Sung Hee is not happy with his response that's telling her just to go. One day, her dad passed away. She gets mixed up feelings because she's been hating his father for her life, but she just can't help to feel sad. In another place, Wu Yun shares what he's been thinking to his friend. He's been wondering about where he would be now if he hadn't met Sung Hee. He's probably living his life to the fullest as a teacher, probably married to his rich ex-girlfriend. He's kind of regretting saving Sung Hee from the accident that injured him. His friend is trying to stop him from talking nonsense, but he won't stop. He keeps saying as if it's her fault that he's still jobless by now. His life has been such a mess since he met her. Unfortunately for him, Sung Hee hears all of it. Sung Hee was very upset to hear that. She asks him if he regrets it, but he can't say anything. She tells him that getting hurt and going back to her is all his decision, and he can't blame her for any of those. He apologizes, but Sung Hee is way too disappointed by him. She compares him to her dad, who always blames her mom whenever things don't work out. Caught in the trauma, Sung Hee dumps him before she regrets it. Sung Hee is disappointed that the boy he loves the most actually regrets meeting her. They meet up in a park. Sung Hee is still listening to the MP3 player that Wu Yun gave. She listens to her favorite song, which would cheer her up whenever her dad messes up, but she says that she doesn't think she would listen to the song because of him. Wu Yun once again apologizes. He stands on his knee, begging for her to forgive him. He tells her that he's going to get a job soon. Sung Hee decides to go to Belgium. Wu Yun is willing to wait for her, but she stands by her decision to break things off with him. She still can't forgive him, and so she leaves. In the present day, Wu Yun is now working as a PE teacher. 
In the middle of teaching, the students complain that he's always in a bad mood whenever he teaches, so the students ask him to tell the story about his first love. It amuses the whole class, he tells all the details about Sung Hee. The thought of his first, innocent, young love always lingers in his mind. Suddenly one day, Sung Hee visits him in the school. She just got back from Belgium, bringing a piece of big news for him. Sung Hee is going to marry someone soon. She says that it would be necessary to tell him in person about this. Things get awkward for them. He asks her to send the invitation because he wants to attend the wedding. The day before the wedding, Wu Yun gets drunk with his friend, feeling upset about everything. He invites his friend to go somewhere isolated, so they go to a fishing park. They are planning to spend the night there so that Wu Yun won't think about the wedding. The thought of her marrying someone else breaks his heart, and he can't help but cry when he thinks of her. But something changes his mind, and he decides to attend the wedding. In the early morning, he wakes up his friends and asks them to help him. What does he plan? With the help of his friends, they are able to clear Sung Hee's room, leaving her alone. Wu Yun comes inside as he wants to say something personal before her wedding. Wu Yun tells her that he regrets having such a thought that hurt her. But he just realized that because of her, he became who he is now. She helped him get rid of his bad habit of fighting in high school, she motivated him to go to university, and now he's enjoying his life as a full-time teacher. He could have just wasted his life. But because she came into his life, he became what he is now. He wishes her happiness though it heaves his heart to let her go. In return, she's also thanking him for coloring her dull life. It wouldn't be as great without him. He's always been there when she's having a hard time. The story ends when Sung Hee says her vow to marry the guy. Wu Yun smiles even though it's hard for him, but the only thing that matters is Sung Hee's happiness, so he wouldn't want to ruin it. Love is not just meeting the right people, but also meeting them at the right time. No matter how hard it gets, you should remember the happiness they bring you, and you should be grateful for that before it's all too late. But what would you do if you were in Wu Yun's position? Let us know what you think in the comment below. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you, next time.